One person's trash is another person's treasure. We're here at the 456 to learn more about the High Trash exhibit. The Gallery 456 displays the new exhibition called High Trash by Wang Ling Cho. Cho travels from Louisiana to share her works here in New York. In this show, most pieces are press molded from plastic waste. When I finish a, a, a bottle, a, a drinking, or a, a cake, and I see this plastic still very clean, very nice, so I want to use it again. I want to give it a second chance. So I find, I'm an artist, so I use it as a mold to create my art. This artist is just getting started on her journey of creating art from repurposed, recycled trash, and she shows no signs of slowing down. I started to squeeze and crash my trash before I use it, and I found that's just life. Because we're so afraid of being crushed, it's hard. Oh, it's, we think it's a ruin, but no, it's beautiful. She uses her life in Louisiana as inspiration. She has two donkeys, two goats, and five dogs. Combining that with animal style influence from Chinese masters Qi Bai Shi and Ba Da Shandren, through her art, she introduces us to her donkey. He really, his name is Plato, he really looks like that. He's so sneaky, he, his eyes always looking and thinking, and I capture that in my artwork. She's passing along her art knowledge as she teaches ceramics at the college level. I give them an assignment, I tell them that I build a perfect cube, and then I say next, throw the uh, cube on the ground. And everybody just panic and just I'm just afraid to throw, but then I encourage them, encourage them. I, I want them to build uh, new work from that dis, distorted form. From cups, flower pots, teapots, and plates. Everything she creates is fully functional. They are microwave and dishwasher safe. It's all unique. So to, to make it right actually takes technique. It's not quite easy. But for entrance, even kids can do it. This exhibit is on display from July 13th through July 27th. Reporting for Sinovision, I'm Michelle A. Jackson.